communication, meaning and importance. Hello class, I wish to share a story with you today. When I was in high school, a man came up to me and spoke about Sarojini Naidu. Mostly, it was a usual mix of historical events and his quotes, which in Sarojini Naidu's case was an effective mixture of touching and emotional points. But what I remember best was how the talk ended. The speaker concluded by saying that if we were to remember one thing about Sarojini Naidu, it should be that what made her so effective was her power to communicate. I didn't understand that at that time. Growing up, I had always heard about the importance of hard work, honesty and other things, but never communication. Yet now, 30 years later, I have begun to understand what he meant. As Walter Isaacson argues in his book, The Innovators, even in technology, the ability to collaborate effectively is decisive. In order to innovate, it's not enough to just come up with the big ideas. You also need to work hard to communicate them clearly. Today, we take electricity for granted, we switch on lights, watch television and enjoy connected devices without a second thought. It's hard to imagine an earlier age in which we had to use smoky, smelly candles in order to see at night and didn't have the benefit and convenience of basic household appliances. Michael Faraday, probably more than anyone else, transformed electricity from an interesting curiosity into the workhorse of the modern age. Yet Faraday was more than just a talented scientist. He was also a very effective communicator. His scientific genius lay not simply in producing experimental results that had eluded everyone, but also in explaining them too. This wasn't a natural talent. He worked hard at it. The effort paid off. He worked at his communication, dear students, to be effectively understood. With the context of these two snippets, I'm sure you have understood that communication is a very important skill. Won't we all like to be good communicators? So let us first understand the meaning of communication. What is communication? Communication is the ability of mankind to communicate across barriers and beyond boundaries that has assured the progress of mankind. It is the ability of fostering speedy and effective communication around the world that has shrunk the world and made globalization a reality. Communication had a vital role to play in ensuring that people belonging to a particular country or a culture interact with and relate to people belonging to other countries or cultures. Communication adds meaning to human life. It helps to build relationship and fosters love and understanding. It enriches our knowledge of the universe and makes living worthwhile. Communication is an integral part of everyday life. People communicate with one another to share ideas, express thoughts and feelings and resolve problems. Errors occur when a communicated message is not given or received as it was intended. You can increase your ability to communicate effectively by developing verbal and non-verbal communication skills. Clarity of speech, remaining calm and focused, being polite and following some basic rules of etiquette will all aid the process of verbal communication. Non-verbal communication include facial expressions, the tone and the pitch of the voice, gestures displayed through body language and the physical distance between the communicators and the audience. This includes all unwritten and unspoken messages, both intentional and unintentional. It may also include the way we wear our clothes or the silence we keep. Being able to communicate effectively is the most important of all life skills. Communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place to another. Whether this be vocally using voice, written using printed or digital media such as books, 
magazines, websites or remains. Visually using logos, maps, charts or graphs or non-verbally using body language, gestures and the tone and the pitch of voice. The word communication as we understand is used to denote speaking or writing or conveying a message to another person. In reality, communication is much more than that. Communication is a process of exchanging information, usually through a common system of symbols. It takes a wide variety of forms from two people having a face to face conversation to hand signals to messages sent over the global telecommunication networks. Communication existed in the stone age and is flourishing in the technology age of today too. There are so many caves and monuments which stands testimonial to the fact that communication has a very ancient history. There are various definitions of communications by different scholars. T.S. Matthews says that communication is something so difficult that we can never put it in simple words. But we do need a definition to understand the concept. Communication is derived from a Latin word communicare. The meaning of which is to share. Communication can also be defined as a process of understanding and sharing meaning. Communication is a purposeful activity of information exchange between two or more participants in order to convey or receive the intended meanings through a shared system of signs and semiotic rules. Let us look at some definitions. I shall take you through some very popular definitions of communication. American Management Association defines it as communication is any behavior that results in an exchange of meaning. Peter Little defines communication as communication is a process by which information is transmitted between individuals and or organizations so that an understanding response results. Newman and Summer Jr. state that communication is an exchange of facts, ideas, opinions or emotions by two or more persons. According to Keith Davis, the process of passing the information and understanding from one person to another. It is essentially a bridge of meaning between the people. By using the bridge, a person can safely cross the river of misunderstanding. All these definitions emphasize that the main purpose of communication is to inform or to bring around a certain point of view or to elicit action. These definitions also show that communication involves exchange of thoughts between two parties. Communication is a transmission of information and meaning from one individual or group to another. The crucial element is meaning. Communication is a relationship that involves interaction between participants. These definitions emphasize on the process of understanding and to share another's point of view. The first keyword is process. A process is a dynamic activity that is hard to describe because it changes. Take an example of a situation where you are alone and waiting at the bus stop for your bus to arrive which will take you home. Someone you know, your very good friend comes at the same bus stop and you start talking to him. You both exchange stories of your recent football match in your college. Now imagine that your friend is joined by his sister, someone you haven't met before. And this stranger listens intently as you speak, almost as if you were giving a speech. Now you may start to talk at a different pace or even a different subject. Your perspective might change and you might watch your words more closely. The feedback or response from your friend and the stranger, that is your audience, may cause you to reevaluate what you're saying. When we interact, all these factors and many more influence the process of communication. The next important word is understanding. To understand is to perceive, to interpret and to relate our perception with interpretation to what we already know. If your brother very excitedly describes to you an outdoor shooting of a movie that he witnessed a few hours ago, what images come to your mind? 
Now your brother shows you the pictures of the movie shooting which he had clicked on his mobile phone camera. From the photographs on the cell phone, you see the actors, the director and the technicians at the location of the shoot. You better understand the shooting scenario now. Understanding the words and concepts are a very essential part of the communication process. Next comes the word sharing. Sharing means doing something together with one or more people. You may share a joint activity like for instance your entire class of 30 students have to decide on the option for places to go for an annual college picnic. In communication sharing occurs when you convey thoughts feelings, ideas or insights with others. You can also share with yourself a process called intrapersonal communication. When you bring ideas of consciousness, ponder how you feel about something or figure out the solution to a problem. Finally, meaning is what we share through communication. The word shoot represents two different meanings. By looking at the context in which the word is used, in and by asking questions, we can discover the shared meaning of the word and understand the message correctly. Without communication skills, we are unable to let others know what we think, feel or want to accomplish. We are unable to build partnerships, motivate others or resolve conflict. Let us now come to the phrase business communication. Communication is a process of exchanging messages or information between two or more parties. Business houses today are heavily dependent on information to meet their organizational needs. Effective communication plays a vital role in fulfilling these needs and contributes significantly to organizational success. Society, businesses and technology are all dependent on effective communication. Without effective communication, there is confusion, dissatisfaction and misunderstandings. In order to operate a business appropriately, one must understand the basics of business communication and its essential role in creating success. Business communication is any form of communication, verbal or non-verbal, that is used to relay a message, promote a product or service or share information. The term business communication is used for all messages that we send and receive for official purpose like running a business managing an organization, conducting the formal affairs of a voluntary organization and so on. Business communication is marked by formality as against personal and social communication. The success of any business to a large extent depends on efficient and effective communication. It takes place among business entities, in market and marketplaces, also within organizations between various groups of employees owners and employers, buyers and sellers, service providers and customers, salespersons and prospects and also between people within an organization and the press. Business communication defines most organizations resulting in effective marketing campaigns, productive interpersonal relationships among co-workers and successful customer service resolutions. Because audiences demand different kinds of communication, different situations and settings, Effective business communication professionals understand how to tailor message for maximum results. The success of individuals and organizations is very dependent on effective communication. This is true within the individual organization as well as how that organization communicates with other organization within its sphere of contact, influence and competition. Communication is a complex two-way process involving encoding, translation and decoding of messages. Effective communication requires the communicator to translate their message in a way that is specifically designed for the intended audience. People in organizations typically spend over 75% of their time in an interpersonal situation. Thus, it is no surprise to find that at the root of a large number of organizational problems is poor communication. Effective communication is an essential component of organizational success. Whether it is at interpersonal, intergroup, intragroup, organizational or external levels. 
the definition given by William Scott in his book Organization Theory is very complete and it touches all aspects of the communication process. Business communication can be defined as a process which involves the transmission and accurate replication of ideas ensured by feedback for the purpose of eliciting actions which will accomplish organizational goals. The main goal of all communication in an organization is the general welfare of the organization. Effective communication is needed at all stages in order to ensure this welfare. At the planning stage, information is needed about the various aspects of the enterprise, the feasibility of the project being undertaken, finances involved, manpower required, marketing condition, publicity campaigns and many more. At the execution stage, orders are issued to employees to start work. The workers associated with the project are constantly motivated and kept involved. A sense of discipline is cultivated among them and their morale is kept high. All this requires constant two-way communication between managers and the employees. Then, at the assessment stage, the manager is again required to communicate with various sources, both internal and external, to assess the success of the project and if a need is felt, to envisage modifications in the future plan. At the workplace, communication may be used for these objectives. Information passing or receiving information about a particular fact or circumstance is one of the most important objectives of communication. It can be done either through spoken or written language or by, by using any other system or signs or signals. Managers need complete, accurate and precise information to plan and organize. Employees need it to translate planning into reality. Education. Communication can be used to educate factory workers about the safety norms. Advice. The senior management can give advice to their team members when pitching for big deals and clients. Warning. Warnings about hazardous chemicals in a chemical factory and the precautions to be taken can be communicated. Order. If orders given to employees are communicated clear and concisely, the work will get done faster and more effectively. Raising morale. A good word of appreciation or a pat on the back serves as a morale booster. Suggestion. Suggestions and feedback on various training programs and policies of the company can be collected. Motivation. A well-written letter of appreciation can serve as a huge motivator for employees. Persuasion. Communication done properly can aid in persuasion of achieving organizational goals. Let us look at the importance of business communication. Good business communication is essential for building a team that will make a business a success. Communication is especially important if members of a company are to work as a team towards the same goal. There are many reasons why good communication skills are vital when it comes to running a successful company. Here are some of them. Interaction amongst employees of the company builds an efficient team. In order to have a good team, a good leader is essential. The leader must be able to communicate well with every member that is involved in the business in order to convey to each employee his or her jobs and expectations. He or she must be a motivating person who encourages people to work hard and to have a mindset of achieving various goals. A leader that communicates well creates a team that performs well in all departments. Good communication also prevents misunderstandings amongst people at the workplace. When employees are able to converse efficiently with each other, misunderstandings will be resolved in a very amicable manner. Furthermore, unnecessary friction is avoided. This means that employees will be able to concentrate better on their work. As we are talking about leaders, I wish to share the thoughts of one of the passionate leaders of corporate India. Dhirubhai Ambani. Dhirubhai Ambani, founder chairman of the Reliance Group, was aware of the fact that education alone empowers people. He was a great communicator. He communicated to inspire, guide, educate and motivate people. He used the power of the telephone to achieve these goals. 
He used it to defeat distance, to compress time and to remain abreast of events. He was aware of the power of information and communication. He would often say, make tools of Infocom available to people at an affordable cost. They will overcome the handicaps of illiteracy and lack of mobility. He is also credited with very inspiring speeches at his shareholders' meetings. The process of coming up with that finished product requires occasional interactions and meetings where issues are discussed. You will also see an improvement in the service quality. This is in terms of relationship between company and the customers. If the company interacts well with the clients and attends to their needs promptly, the customers are bound to continue doing business with the company. The company will also be in a position to provide better service. This is because as you communicate with clients, you will be able to figure out exactly what they want from you. This way, you can make the necessary improvements in products or services that the customers require. Customer surveys and feedback help improve market sales. There are various hierarchies in companies. A company that has good communication between the top management and the junior employees creates an inclusive atmosphere. The junior employees will feel included in the company and as a result will be encouraged to work harder. It is not easy to work in an environment that you might feel out of place in. When members of a company communicate efficiently, a positive atmosphere is created. If there is a positive atmosphere at workplace, internal problems are sorted out easily and quickly. I wish to conclude by stating that business communication proficiency will help the organization and its members to prepare effective presentation, sales pitches, save time, build good team spirit, make it easy for documentation and boost the overall morale of the organization. Thank you students for being a part of this session on communication. Wish you happy learning.